Hi guys, so I'm back. A while ago I did a video on um, this. I was so excited about it. And you're not even going to be able to tell this time right now. This is whipped shea butter uh, moisturizer. It's good for your hair, your nails, your skin. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys what all I used. And when I made this, I, I uploaded a video to Facebook and I should have did it here. Sorry. But I'm going to tell you um, how I feel about it what I used so of course I used shea butter and before I got my shea butter I made sure that I did my research and um, I, I researched it and found that all shea butters are not created equal and that with the shea butters um, you want one that is not quite white but all of them are made in different batches so they're gonna have a different color if you go to a place and you order it or you get some it's gonna they're all gonna have different colors the ones that are darker are not necessarily raw anymore from what I'm understanding if I'm incorrect please feel free to correct me um, but I was looking for something for my daughter who has 4c hair I was looking for something that can moisturize her hair help promote uh, hair growth and things like that and with dealing with her hair, I had to um, finally realize that I was doing everything so wrong. I felt like moisturizer meant that I was putting more oil in it. But after researching, I found that I was doing it wrong. And that um, actually, instead of putting giving her hair oil, I needed to give her hair more water. But I needed something to lock that moisture in. So I came across a few videos and this was something that was recommended. So I used my shea butter and when I use the shea butter, I use the shea butter, I used some argan oil, I used some um, almond oil, grapeseed oil, I put a little bit of wild growth oil in there, um, black Jamaican castor oil, I also used... Um, avocado oil and I wanted to put things in there that would lock onto her hair shaft and hold in the moisture that I put on there so you can use whatever you feel like you want to use just make sure that whatever it is that you're using is going to help what you're looking for so that's how I came up with all of the things that I wanted. Now, when it was time for me to go ahead and do it, I did not necessarily measure it out, to be honest with you. Um, I just eyeballed it a little bit because I didn't use the whole thing of Shea that I was giving you. Know they give you the little container. I didn't use the whole thing of it because since it was my first time making it, I wanted to make sure that I did it correctly. So I put all of that stuff into a container. And when I put it all in a container, the one step that you do not want to skip is melting that down. If you skip that part, then yes, your stuff is going to come out fluffy and pretty and it's going to look like something that you're just going to want to dip your finger in and eat. But within a day or two, it is going to... Um, Resolidify pretty much and go back to the texture of your shea, your raw shea butter. And you know, when you have your raw shea butter, the texture of it is kind of hard um, to work into your skin. It's kind of hard to. Um, so, oh, and I also put coconut oil in there as well. So, um, you're going to have this feeling. So, you want to make sure that you melt this down now when you're melting it down please 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 do not put this directly over heat if you put it directly over the heat um you will then cook the nutrients out of everything that you put in there and uh yeah it won't be any good anymore so <laughs> so you don't want to do that um so you put it in a container now i ain't have no double boiler okay so i rigged it up the best i could I put it in a container, I got my water um, boiling and ready, and then I put that container into my pan that was boiling the water, and I made sure that I kept it from touching the edges, and um, kept it centered, 
and it melted down. It took approximately 10 to 15 minutes, I believe. Melted it all down, gave it a couple of stirs here and there. You do not want your mixture to boil. If it starts to boil, that means that, you know, you're cooking out all of the qualities that you need. So do not let it boil. Okay. Then after that, you want to take it and you want to put it in the freezer. When you put it in the freezer, you want it to basically re-solidify. Once it re-solidifies, I timed it for 45 minutes. At the out at the max, you would do an hour. So I timed it out 45 minutes. After that, I took it out. And as soon as I took it out, I grabbed my handy dandy mixer and I mixed it all up. At this point, if you would like, if you have some type of aloe vera gel, which is very good as well, not the gel to lay your edges down, aloe vera gel. If you have some, that will be the time to add that into there. But I didn't have any, so I didn't put any in there. Um, but you mix it all up and you're whipping it. At this point, you're going to whip it and whip it and whip it. Sorry, I don't know how to do these special effects or anything like that to give y'all no music or anything like that. So please forgive me. I'm new to this, okay? But you whip it, you whip it, you whip it till it gets to the consistency that you would like. Once it is to the consistency that you would like, you can store it and you have it. Um, now, my experience with it, I love it. Here's, here it is. This is how it looks. And it really works itself in. You see how it just melts across my skin? It just melts. If you fail to melt it down, um, you're going to have a tough time trying to work it in like it's shea butter. Because it's going to, like I said, re-solidify. I also added lemongrass to mine. Um, there was nothing wrong with the smell of it because it smells pretty good. But I just like to smell of lemongrass. So I put a couple of drops of lemongrass essential oil in mine. And um, that's, oh my God, it smells so amazing. So that's what I have um, just to, you know, kick up the scent a little, you know, a couple notches. But my experience with it, I used it. I had this container and another one as well. That's how much it made. Um, I used it on my daughter's hair. It worked amazing. It's like I put it on her, her hair and it just melted right into her hair. The amount of moisture that she had in her hair locked in was amazing. It didn't have that dry look. Her scalp looked extremely clean and just shiny and it held onto the moisture. It wasn't so dry looking. Um, it just had a lot of luster to it. And I used it on my other daughter's hair. I don't know what um, texture she has exactly, but hers is a little bit, I guess you could say, straighter. I don't know what else to call it. So sorry if I offended somebody by saying it that way. Um, but she has the type of hair where, you know, you wash it, you blow dry it, and it's already, like, straight. Um, but I use it on hers as well. If you use too much, it will weigh your hair down, I will say that. But um, her hair was also very much so moisturized. Um, so I really like it. Sorry that I'm coming to you guys so late after doing because my video on Facebook was a lot more informative and it also included pictures of everything that I use. Um, one of these days, I'm going to get the hang of this YouTube thing. And I'll be able to edit these videos and, you know, give y'all music and pictures and whatever else. But as of right now, my apologies. Um, so, yeah, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, um, if you've used whipped shea butter of your own and you have anything that you put in yours that i didn't name in mine if you want to go drop down in the comments below and let us know what you use why you use it why it's so great or tell us your technique it will be informative for somebody else who may want to make some whipped shea butter i'm telling you guys you can use this stuff on your hands your skin your your hair all that this is some great stuff right here and it's really inexpensive to make. So 
give it a try. Tell me what you think. Um, if I didn't describe what I did well enough for you, um, ask me whatever it is you need to ask me and I will, I'll answer it for you down below. Um, so yeah, that's my video on that. I hope you guys try it. Bye.